here is a fine little problem to end today on. About how big is the millionth prime? So the millionth prime, if it's not completely obvious, as in, you know, in the sequence of primes, what is the millionth term? So for example, the fourth prime is seven. The fifth prime is whatever comes next, which is 11. I think, yeah, 11. Um, and the question is, how big is the millionth prime? And, you know, we're not asking to find the number exactly, but we just want to estimate it about how big. So a problem asking about how big are prime numbers might remind you of, you know, one of the main things we know about estimating prime numbers is the prime number theorem. So I want to remind you of that. The prime number theorem says that the number of primes up to x is approximately x over natural log of x. So for example, number of primes less than or equal to 100 is about 100 divided by natural log of 100. And what's this? Hard to do those natural logs off the top of your head. So let me use a calculator. Did not actually do this out ahead of time. So this turns out to be about 21.7. And we know that the actual number is 25, I believe, of primes less than 100. So this is not too bad of an estimate. You know, we've seen that a number of times. It's not right on target, but it's, it's you know, in the grand scheme, it's fairly close. So this is what the prime number theorem is telling us. How does that help us find the size of the millionth prime? So basically, we can do this by using the prime number theorem in the kind of reverse direction. The way we're doing it here is saying, here's a number. How many primes are less than that number? And the millionth prime, that's going to be a number that has about 1 million primes less than it. So we just have to turn this around. So to approximate the millionth prime, find a number x such that x over natural log of x is about 1 million. Because that's telling you that, you know, the number of primes less than or equal to the millionth prime is exactly 1 million. So when this formula is giving us 1 million, that must mean that we are near the millionth prime. And from this point, it gets slightly messy because unfortunately, this equation is not easy to just turn around and solve for x. But fortunately, natural log of x grows extremely slowly. So it's quite easy to approximate this nonetheless just by checking a couple of values. So um, let me say it's hard. 
to solve for x, which I think I mean quite hard in the sense that there is no, you know, there's no closed form for x in terms of any elementary functions that we know. Hard to solve for x, but easy to guess and check. So for example, let's just start off with um, what is the natural log of 1 million? Just to get an idea of you know, what kind of denominator we're dealing with. This is 14. OK, it's about 14. So what this is telling us is that um, basically the strategy that I'm proposing here is that let's say this is not changing, let's just say it's about 14, then we would want to take 14 million to be x. So um, try x equals 14 million. Let's see if that works. Natural log of 14 million is about 16. And again, we want the ratio to be a million. So maybe let's try x equals 16 million. And then natural log of that is still about 16. So that's giving us a number. So let me just write it like this, 16 million divided by natural log of 16 million is going to be about 1 million. Because this thing is about 16. So what that tells us is that millionth prime is about 16 million. And if you want to check your work, that number of primes is, you know, not too hard to compute. You can just uh, find your favorite, you know, <laughs> website that lets you compute primes. And the actual value is, let's see, 15 million and change. So this is the actual millionth prime. And you can see that our estimate was quite close, you know, within, what is this? Within about 5%, I think. Within about 5% of the actual value. So that I think is a nice little illustration of the prime number theorem and how to use it to estimate the number of primes. And also you can turn it around to estimate the size of primes as well.